is up guys this is Tedo back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is based on Pi firmware of course and this is the 8th July 2019 build let me show you the about section the flashing procedure is pretty simplistic well this ROM includes the G apps so you do not need to flash any kind of like separate micro G apps or something like that so the G apps is included in the zip file already in the ROM so the ROM file is actually like about 1 GB so everything is included so you just flash only one single ROM file and if you don't know what I'm talking about and how to flash on Pi firmware and if you're not on Pi firmware just watch this video from the cards right here let me show you the Android version as you can see on the top we have the Evolution X logo over here then we have the Android version as like Android 9 of course let me go back the security patch is latest July 5th 2019 and here is the baseband and stock kernel is ice cold R5 kernel and here is the build number as you can see 8 July 2019 official build of the Evolution X for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and over here let me just go back if you go not into Evolution X if you go into system you will find the system updater over here so you can check for updates over here of course and it it is pretty good that like we have the system updated let me just increase the brightness and as you can see we have this kind of like customizations so fairly good amount of customizations are present over here i have to say let me just go back from here and inside evolution x you will find all the customizations you need the only thing that disappoints me about this rom i would say is the stock launcher well you can't swipe down to get to the notification panel or you can't just double tap on the home screen anywhere to like make it sleep because this is pure like stock pixel launcher over here as you can see the pixel launcher is like pretty simplistic so there is not a lot of customizations at all to the left we of course have the google now cards and if you swipe up like this you will get to the app drawer so that is really good and the wallpaper i'm using over here is from this app this app is preloaded in this rom this is evo x wallpapers or evo x papers over here the app's name and here you will find a lot of evolution x roms like wallpaper over here as you can see this one is pretty cool i would say so you get bunch of options for this evolution x wallpaper as you can see these are pretty cool wallpapers i would say so i'm just using one of them the ROM is pretty smooth over here, no issues whatsoever, but the only thing that disappoints me is, is the stock launcher. And over here, the Vaulty calls are working super fine, but there is no call recording option because the dialer is the like stock pixel dialer and there is video calling option, but there is no call recording option, just like letting you guys know. And Google Pay and stuff is working fine over here, so you don't need to worry. Google Pay works right out of the box and the widgets and stuff for this stock launcher is working fine now let me just go into the settings panel over here and over here as you can see this is how the settings panel looks like the icons looks a little bit different and inside evolution x you will find all the customizations that you need and i have to say there are plenty of customizations and i'm not disappointed at all with the customizations present over here let me go into the status bar we have the disable on lock screen status bar option inside system icons you will get headset bluetooth etc icons and you can also enable vaulty and 4g instead of lte icon and we have the roaming indicator bluetooth battery status and the clock and date customization are there battery icon style is there and you do have the q style battery icon also you have dotted circle big circle big dotted circle etc options and you can change the percentage position and evolution x 2.0 logo is there like this is a separate option you can enable it if you want to and the framework values you can customize it from here if you go into the notification you can disable heads up from here kill app button and stuff like that is there now let's just go into the quick setting so the quick setting toggle styles you can change like from these many options you can change the whole quick setting toggle styles over here that is really good i would say and let me just go back we have the quick setting edit icon and quick setting toggle animation flip and rotate is there and brightness slider and stuff like that is there too and again bluetooth battery status is there over here and the vibrate on touch toggle etc is there quick pull down is there too so you don't need to worry and if you go to power menu we do have the advanced reboot let me just show you if you just tap and hold the power menu here we have the advanced option from here you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or whatever you want and we have the simple like of animation of the screen of animation you can also change it to like crt and stuff like that you can disable the power menu on lock screen too from here 
you're gonna enable on the go and inside gestures we have the normal usb gestures and the swipe up home button and stuff and swipe to take screenshot is there so i just like accidentally went back let me just go back over here and as you can see this three finger screenshot gesture is working fine and it does not scroll also we have the double tap to sleep on like lock screen and status bar and brightness control is there i just showed you that and always use fingerprint scanner is there so you don't have to enter your pin or pattern whenever you reboot your phone so that is a really good feature and i really use it while really driving i would say let me just go back inside lock screen we have the like media cover art and stuff like that we have the clock style over here so you can just pull it to text and in the lock screen this is how it will look like like android q and also in the lock screen it shows the weather and stuff so that is really good and here is the fingerprint scanner speed quickly as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty decent not bad at all and over here we have the date style and stuff like that we have q beta and stuff so a lot of like changing option of the fonts and we also have this charging animation which does the like pixel like animation over here so that is really good and you can also increase the font size or decrease it if you want to we have the lock screen widget and stuff lock screen album blur so a lot of options regarding the customizations inside lock screen too and inside navigation we have the normal navigation option and you can invert the layout i did that so that is why back button is to the right side we also have the pixel animation and one handed mode and also you can change the height and width of the like navigation bar you can also enable pulse also we have the stock smart bar or fling option for navigation and inside stock settings we have more options too for the navigation bar let me just go back inside hardware buttons we have the long press for torch and stuff like that and hardware keys over here we have the backlight option i don't know why it's there and we also have like this kind of volume panel customization over here you can enable the ring volume and stuff like that this is how it looks like you can't expand it i think so that is how it looks like as you can see right now you can expand it so i would say just enable everything over here all right so the volume panel become to the left and as you can see right now you can expand the volume panels and this is how it looks like pretty cool i would say and inside miscellaneous we have the wake up on plug and default usb configuration you can change it to like file explorer or file transfer and launch music app is there so that whenever you connect your headphones it will just launch your default music player so that is pretty cool i would say let me just go back and inside gestures i would say there is no like full screen navigation gestures so that is a bit disappointing but yeah that is how it is and inside like the navigation you do not have the like edge gestures or stuff like that so that is one disappointment that there is no like full screen edge navigation gestures and if you go into the sound settings let me show you that you do get the me sound enhancer or me audio enhancer and you can choose from youth edition or whatever your headphones are and this works pretty fine you can also disable the screenshot sound and stuff like that dial pad tones screen locking sound charging sound etc you can disable it and also we have the vibrate for calls so that is really good and inside display settings we also have the night light option so that the display becomes yellowish and the brightness like becomes too dark and over here we have the live display and you can change the color profile to standard rating dynamic and color calibration modes are there so you can you have the full rgb control of the screen also you can control the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen so that is really good and the device theme you can change it from the display settings to light dark or whatever you want and the dark theme style you can change it to default like gray or like totally black we have the accent colors like this red ocean space and a lot of options over here you have the fonts changing option by default the system font is roboto and you have these many options so there are a plenty of options like havoc os i would say it must be like havoc os or more than that so a lot of fonts option over here we have the ambient display too and we do have the always on or show while charging option the ambient display and pocket detection and double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well is there in the display settings and talking about the battery settings well here we have the battery estimate qs or the quick setting battery estimated option so here it shows that how long will your battery last as you can see right now it's showing that it will last until 745 or something like that so i would say the battery life over here is pretty decent but like you can get around seven to eight hours of screen on time depending on your usage and here also it shows the battery temperature and stuff so that is really good but i would say the battery life is a little bit less when compared to siberia rom 
that's what i feel and that is how it is that is how the rom is and let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here let's open twitter play store instagram now let's open youtube now let's open all the apps from memory again as you can see all the app stays in memory and the app overlap animation is pretty smooth too over here as you can see no issues whatsoever and you can switch between apps just like this so pretty good of like app switching pretty fast and the rom is pretty fast in terms of daily driving we also have the miui camera over here by default and it works flawlessly portrait mode and stuff everything works you can also install google cameras too if you want to because camera to api is pre enabled in this rom and if you go into security and if you go into lock screen you have the automatic face unlock and over here we also have the like face recognition stuff inside smart lock so you don't need to worry about face unlock over here in this rom so that is how it is guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now